An Iraqi official says an airstrike has hit two cars carrying Iran-backed militia north of Baghdad, one day after a U.S. attack on top Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. The official said five members of the militia were killed. Iraqi state television and the media arm of the Iran-backed militias known as the Popular Mobilization Forces also reported the strike. The group said its medics were targeted at call. Miles Kagan's III, a spokesman for the U.S. operation against the Islamic State, said Saturday on Twitter that the coalition did not conduct airstrikes in that area in recent days. The airstrike comes amid heightening tensions between the U.S. and Iraq. Iran promised to seek revenge for a U.S. airstrike near Baghdad's airport that killed the mastermind of its interventions across the Middle East and the U.S said Friday it was sending thousands more troops to the region as tensions soared in the wake of the targeted killing. The death of General Qasem Soleimani, the head of Iran's elite Quds force, marks a major escalation in the standoff between Washington and Iran, which has careened from one crisis to another since President Donald Trump withdrew from the 2015 nuclear deal and imposed crippling sanctions. Continued conflict could affect other parts of the region, endangering U.S. troops in Iraq, Syria and beyond. Around 5,200 American troops are based in Iraq to train Iraqi forces and help in the fight against Islamic State group militants.